Well, welcome to a brand new series on JavaScript programming. I'm Eric Freeman. I've been working with O'Reilly for a number of years, and I'm really excited to be undertaking this series, partly because I'm so excited, one, about JavaScript. But the other reason is we've had a lot of reader feedback that they really want to nail down their JavaScript skills. And I'm doing this series with Elizabeth Robson, my co-author, on a lot of HeadFirst books. And we've named this series HeadFirst JavaScript Programming Teasers. Because what we're going to do is tease out a lot of material that's in our new HeadFirst JavaScript Programming book. And this is material that, one, we obviously want to entice you to go read the book. But at the same time, if you're a new JavaScript programmer, these are all the kind of behind-the-scenes, nuts and bolts, nitty-gritty JavaScript stuff that you really want to know if you want to master JavaScript. It's also some of the fun and interesting stuff about JavaScript. Now, if on the other hand, you're a more experienced JavaScript programmer, this is the stuff that the first time through, you might have been moving fast. You might have skipped around a little bit and not picked up some of this. So it should be interesting for you as well and really solidify the foundation you already have in JavaScript. So there is one more thing I should tell you about head-first JavaScript programming. And that is, we're still writing the book. And so while you can follow along with these videos, you're not going to have access to the book until it's done. However, we have come up with a new program called Wickedly Smart Insider that we encourage you to take advantage of. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to give you access to the book as it's written. We're also going to create a forum so that you can not only give feedback on the book, but ask questions. And Beth and I are both going to be in that forum. And so this is a really interactive way to participate in this book as is written. And to influence the book itself. So if you're interested, we've set up a page at wickedlysmart.com slash jssignup. Go over there and give us your name and your email, and we'll send you the details on this program. All right, so after all that talk about the book and the video series, let's talk about JavaScript a little bit. One of the things we're going to do in this series is to spell a few myths about JavaScript. We'll start right in with one of those myths, which is that JavaScript is just a toy language, that it's not that powerful, it's pretty slow, and you can get small things done with it, but it's not generally applicable to doing any interesting things. Well, JavaScript is definitely not that. In fact, JavaScript has made some huge improvements over the last decade or so. And one reason is that if you look at all the major browser companies like Apple, which makes Safari, and Google, which makes Chrome, and Mozilla, which makes Firefox, all these companies have spent a lot of time and effort and put some of the industry's best brains behind making JavaScript very fast. And there are a number of techniques which these browsers use to make JavaScript almost as fast or as fast in some cases as native compiled code, and we'll talk about some of these techniques later in the series. So not only does JavaScript have performance chops, it's also an elegant and powerful programming language with modern concepts built into it, as we're going to see. So we've squashed that myth right up front. JavaScript is a full-fledged programming language, and it's become more and more important as the web has become ubiquitous, and it's only going to get more important as the web continues to evolve. Before we get into doing any actual coding with JavaScript, though, let's first take a look briefly at how JavaScript fits into the web ecosystem. If you think about a web page, you probably already know that HTML is the way we structure the content in our pages. And we know that CSS is the way we style our pages. So what about JavaScript? Well, JavaScript is the way we glue everything together to add behavior to our pages. And we're going to spend a lot of time on that topic in this series. That is, how do you take a page with HTML and CSS and add behavior to that page? Now, if we dive in just a little bit deeper and we look at these components at the coding level, we can see that HTML is markup. It's the tags that you add to your content that defines the structure and semantics of your content. And if we look at CSS, it looks a little different from HTML. It's more declarative. We're selecting the elements in a page and then declaring style 
that should be applied to the content. And then if we look at JavaScript, well, it's something entirely different. It's a language for describing computation. So a JavaScript program consists of statements that each do a little bit of computational work. And I can have statements that declare variables that I'm going to use. I can decide things. I can iterate and do things multiple times. I can abstract computations to use later. And I can use built-in functions that do things in the browser. So that's what JavaScript is. It's a language for computation. And if you're used to HTML and CSS, you'll find that JavaScript is a very different kind of language, but you're going to find it's easy to get started with JavaScript. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we get JavaScript into your web page. So join us for the next installment of Headfirst JavaScript Programming Teasers. <laughs>